nothing's been maintained. I'm just saying nothing's been maintained because after we did this work through, you'll say, holy moly, yeah. It's RV inspection day, and today we are in Barur, Ocala, Florida. It's almost Christmas. We're about to inspect this 2021 Holiday Rambler Armada 44LE. Now stick around. We don't know what we're gonna find, and neither do you, and our customer is hoping that we're gonna give him a good call at the end of the day. Stick around, we'll update you at lunchtime and the end of the day. All right, so come on in. Ugh. Don't worry about wiping your feet. I'll show you why. They put this rug, it's soaking, sopping wet. Yeah, it's, um, this is our first glimpse. And I gotta tell you, Pierre was outside doing his first glimpse and I'm in here and I've got the EBGBs. Why? Because first I see a little cockroach house over there. Yes, they do have RVs for cockroaches. Isn't that a cute little tag along? And I'm coming through here and I'm like, who leaves their camper like this wanting to sell it? It is so filthy. I'm just, I'm blown away, first of all. And then as I open up some of the other appliances, you know, like the refrigerator, you would expect it to be, it's a 2021. It's even got some broken pieces in here. It's cracked. It was really well maintained, I'm telling you. The one thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have a cracked bed frame, so that's good. So the bed frame is nice and solid. There's no cracks in that. We'll give it a thumbs up on that. But then when you come into the bathroom, again, guys, this is my first glimpse. I'm going, all right, the shower is really nasty, but then all the seals are completely off as you can see. So all the seals are falling off and you know, the teak shower seat is peeling. So it just really wasn't maintained. Then I come into this bathroom over here and it's okay, this is not a huge deal, but you come in here and the top of the toilet's cracked already. You got a chip on this. Guys, it's a 2021 and people are maintaining it like this. I don't know. The first thing that got me was the little tag along camper for the cockroaches. And then I found they had a whole campground. Look at that, an RV resort right there. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So, you know, when you get an RV and you want to maintain it like this, keep it forever because this is something that people don't want to be surprised when they think they're going to send an inspector in to have an immaculate top of the line RV. Let's see what Pierre has found on his first glimpse. Some first glimpse are way easier than others, but I'm just going to run you by what you should be thinking, looking. See, for me, like I've said before, I feel like the unit needs to talk to me. So this one talks pretty loudly. This door was hard to open, but I'm just going to state this. You're opening this, and the first thing you see is cockroaches, trap. Okay, and this is an isolated bin. I mean, there's not much access in here. My biggest concern is why do my fuse cover box is already off? Okay, well, might mean nothing. All right, 2021. And I got surface rust here and there. So who knows? They might have traveled in Minnesota, Oklahoma. Can't shut the door because nothing is aligned. Nothing's been maintained. I'm just saying nothing's been maintained because after we did this work through, you'll say, holy moly. Yeah. On this side, it's the same thing. I've told you this before, over and over before. And since repetition equals reality, here's the same thing that nobody ever does. Okay, just leave those sealed and you got to untuck those. Because maybe that hole up there is the reason why we got so much water inside that middle carpet. Because maybe the water came out from one of those slide out and just roll onto the floor because we had pouring rain a couple of days ago. But then I end up here, so it's okay. I've got a couple of issues here. This one is gouged into the fiberglass and into the siding, which brings me to this door, which something has been hitting. So this is all scratched up. As I've said before, Cockroaches trap over there, cockroaches trap. Well, they they caught a few here of the same family probably. 
And if you remember, I told you, always keep an eye on this. Why do people take those off? There's always a reason. Something happened or somebody tried to find something. So that could be an indicator of what you're looking at. As we are going here, you can see a scratch in the full body paint. That scratch into the red of the body paint. A little bit out of here. This, you can see that the awning, I don't know if you can see right there, but that broke totally. So the awning that slides in those Gerard, whatever happened, this one actually disconnected, it's totally gone, broken, it's out of there. So now we're gonna be talking about this. This is just an indicator also. This is the fluid for the leveling system. So my leveling fluid level is about halfway. I don't have one outrigger used yet. So that should give us, should be an indicator of no maintenance. Then you end up on the wall. Okay, so explain to me how you can rip off this wall. This is fiberglass, that's your rear cap. Destroyed here, destroyed here. Okay, all right, we can forgive them. That's on one side. You think, okay, well, maybe it was too close to the Bucky's little yellow post, so you hit this, all right, well. But I think the guy who used to have this didn't know how to drive either because he destroyed this side as well. So same thing here. Putty has been put here, epoxy has been put here because he scraped the whole way the whole thing is been taking a beat big time. So then my typical pet peeve mechanical, open those doors, look at your system, your batteries. Those are disgusting. If you have one of them battery case that, that uh, has no cleaning done in there, please make an effort. I mean, and then you gotta check the water. So I haven't even opened one of the battery. I'll bet you those batteries are empty, zero. I don't know, they do work because the chassis battery will work, but Again, you gotta smack the door to make them happen. So, other than that, uh, I don't think we had much more except for another pile of cockroaches, motel. Right down here, we got a couple of motels that, oh, this is their last stay, so there's some down there too. So I think they've been infested with cockroaches. But the interesting part of this is, on top of the back end that, you remember that post from Bucky's that they hit? Well, the whole base, of this unit as you can see as you can tell everything's been destroyed so on top of hitting that post and using the, the camper to be able to swing it sideways i think he tried everything to try to get off of it instead of backing up and going forward so far i didn't even go on the roof i mean uh, we can see what we're getting into we can see what's happening this is our customer's second unit so if you remember the last one we'll link it above Above on that side, I think, yeah, I think it's on that side. That's the advantage of hiring somebody who become your eyes and see what you're looking at. It's still way cheaper for them to have hired us than flying down here, getting a motel, taking a rental, go check this out. But again, the salesperson that shared pictures on this unit, shady, would you say? So one might say that this is trash or has been trashed or is definitely trash to not call it garbage in my opinion my customer don't hear me yet so we'll just present the facts and we'll see which word he's going to use let's talk to you in a bit okay so we hey, made listen, the dreaded ho call hold, hold on we did yeah okay let's talk about the call no no i gotta bring this up okay here's where the camper is and here's where we are. I'm not getting any closer to that RV. I have pockets. I'm already emptying them thinking, what if I bring one of those critters home? It is bad. It's everywhere. Those cockroaches are everywhere. I'm not used to this. This. I have a question. Yes. In the comments below, tell us who buys, I don't know, a $300,000, $400,000, $500,000 coach and destroys it in two years so that no one can even buy it. Who does that? In the comments below, please enlighten us. Yeah, I don't Would know. you do that? If you had, if you could afford this, or even if it was cheaper, let's say you bought this beautiful rig that was four or 500,000. For 25 it's, grand? Now it's 250,000, <laughs> 200, and you can afford it. Would you let it go to dilapidate like this? I'm just saying. It's, it's amazing. I don't know, hey. Whatever float your boat, I guess. We can't tell you how to be. I, I get that. But for us, it becomes kind of a 
scary part of our business. It's like, are you kidding me? People trust us in what we find, what we look at, and this is what we see. So we make the call to our customer, and he's all happy, and good morning, guys, how you doing? And we're so happy to see him. And then we have to change his mood and give him the walk around yeah. on this particular unit that just, it's mind blowing because I had to literally go back to the listing to make sure that we were actually inspecting the correct unit. And I went Seriously. back in the listing and I looked at all the photos they portrayed this RV to be. Trust me, it was not the same. It's the same RV, but they took the pictures at the perfect angle and staged it. I don't know, even know how they staged it. I don't, know how, I don't know how you can stage both ends in the back and the bottom of all those drawers, door compartment, cargo door here. And even his no. sales guy, he told us the sales guy went with a video and quickly did a video walkthrough with him. Well, yeah, if I quickly kept my camera up high onto the ceilings and showed you the ceilings, you would not see anything that we have just seen up close. Okay, let, let's just try it, okay? I'm going to introduce to you a 44 LE 2021 right now, and I'm doing a review. Here's the trailer. Here it is. Okay, so... Beautiful paint job. Yeah. Wow, but do they, love the color scheme. I'm sending you the report, and I'm sending you a bill of, whatever, 250 Can you sign down there at the bottom? Are you one of those sucker that is going to buy this? Please don't be one of them. And, and it's funny because you cut it out if you want to, but... Laurel went in here into a couple of different campers because I was regrouping a couple of pictures just to, to finish up and put in my report. So I'll, I'll send somewhat of a report of our findings, what we talked about, so at least he can confirm and, and say to his wife, yep, that's what it is, that's what it was. Well, the, the thing was, our customer's tall. I mean, 6'8", six, 6'9", six, do you think that's tall? So he knows that he has to have an RV that first of all he can walk in with so he doesn't have to duck his head all the time but he needs to shower also so this kind of fit the bill for his shower height so I thought I'm just going to go into a couple of RVs and I'm going to measure the showers no I walked into about eight class A's right here where we are and I'm I'm appalled I said to Pierre every one of them on this lot are somewhat destroyed and smell all of them not just one all eight that I went into it's not that I have a picky nose as a matter of fact you should probably go walk in some of them so it's not just blamed on my nose so that's my point about some places you're gonna go shop for your unit make sure you know who they are what they are what they're known for and maybe sometime you need to go shop elsewhere read the reviews people maybe the reviews will enlighten you. So read the reviews, people. Reviews are really important. And if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, share with your RV and friends. We need to get the word out. This is why you hire RV inspectors. So remember, and do never forget. It's not that off. The destination is all about the journey. <laughs> If you enjoy our videos, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. If you don't know what to comment, just put C4BO, comment for Blue Ox. Thank you for watching.